being able to recognize your corner permutation during your OLL, and then being able to make inferences and decisions off that is very useful for your last layer. The first tip I can give you to help speed up your last layer is to be able to recognize corner permutation and then from that be able to predict what type of PLL you have. So whether you'll have a PLL where two corners need to be swapped diagonally, adjacent or whether they're already solved. To do this you'll firstly need to recognize your OLL case and then also recognize the COLL case. Uh, I discussed corner permutation recognition in the COLL video in the Beyond Standard CFOP module. So the basic idea behind this is that you should gradually learn and become familiar with what your OLLs do to the, the permutation of the corners, so that you can try and predict the state of the corners in PLL. So this helps you reduce the number of possible PLL cases that you can possibly expect when you get to that stage and helps with PLL recognition. For example, if you're doing OLL and you know that you'll get an edge-only PLL algorithm after it, that's a much smaller subset and your anticipation of PLL will be a lot better. So for example, in this OLL case, I know that if I have these two stickers matching and these two stickers opposite one another, then if I do the standard OLL algorithm, I'll get an edges-only PLL case so the corners will already be solved. So doing the exact same OLL case, but I have these two stickers matching on top and these two are opposite, then I know that if I do the OLL algorithm, I'll end up with a PLL where the corners need to be swapped adjacent to one another, like that. So these two corners need to be swapped and these two are the same. So we've got a J permutation. So like I said, it's really just a case of becoming familiar with what your OLL algorithms do to corner permutation. So for example, in this case, where we have the wide soon algorithm, where these two colors are opposite and these two colors are opposite, uh, we know that doing the wide soon algorithm will actually solve our corners and we'll have an edge only permutation of our last layer. Like that, so we can anticipate that. Another example is this OLO case, the fish OLO case, where we have these two stickers matching and these two stickers opposite. Doing our normal OLO algorithm will also solve the corners. So things like that you need to be aware of. So the next step after simply recognizing corner permutation is to then affect corner permutation during your OLL, which is kind of stage two. So because on average the diagonal corner swap PLL cases are worse to execute than the other PLLs, it can be useful to avoid them during our solves. If you happen to know two algorithms for the same OLL case that affect corners differently, uh, you can always avoid diagonal corner swap PLLs. So in this example, uh, we know that our normal algorithm for solving this, uh, this OLL case solves the corners where these two are matching and these two are matching. So it's just f r prime f r two u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f two, like that. Now we see in this case where these two are opposite and these two are opposite. If we do our normal algorithm, that will actually give us give us a diagonal corner swap PLL. So instead, we can choose to do a different algorithm, which goes like this: f u r u two r prime u prime r u two r prime u prime f prime, and that actually helps us avoid a diagonal swap PLL. So in summary, the first thing you should do is go through all of your OLL cases and figure out how they affect corner permutation. This will help you anticipate the possible PLL cases that you'll have in your solves, whether there'll be an adjacent swap of corners, a diagonal swap of corners, or whether they'll already be solved. After that, to get even more advanced, if you know multiple OLL algorithms for the same case that affect corners differently, then you can use that during your OLL to uh, avoid diagonal corner swap PLLs.